What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about one big issue I have with the game. And I'm sure there's a lot of issues a lot of people may have different than mine. But before I get into that, make sure if you're not a subscriber to click the subscribe button. Uh, click the notification button if you are a subscriber so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. And check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. Now that that's out of the way, uh, the one big issue that I have with the game is map count. Uh, there's just not enough maps in 6v6. Now, I am a huge fan of 6v6 in this game. I really do think if the game was tweaked a little bit better, if the game did have some improvements, probably would be one of my top uh, favorite cottons ever. I really enjoy the 6v6 and how much I like playing it. But the map pool count is really hurting uh, the 6v6. I wouldn't say it's hurting the player count, but I think it's going to allow players to lose interest in the game a lot quicker than they normally would because of that smaller you know map pool people are gonna get bored of playing the same maps over and over and i know there's a lot of other things like i said that people would be upset about a lot of people would say they'd like to get rid of the skill-based matchmaking now that would be great uh, you know i would take a small map count if skill-based matchmaking was gone but i've kind of come to terms with it over the years that it's never going to be gone it's always going to be the way it is uh gone are the days of when i first started playing cod cod 2 cod 4 and I was getting slapped around like crazy by, you know, people that were really good at the game, that had played the game for a while. And, you know, when it is through normal people that had just started playing or just, you know, decent players in the same lobby as really good players. You know, those old pub stomping kind of lobbies. Those are kind of gone. Um, you know, eventually I, I turned into the, the pub stomper, I guess you would say. I mean, I wasn't always insanely great at games, but I got into a lot of lobbies where I could just, you know, destroy people and... You know, it was kind of the same, you know, the same way as it was when I was coming up playing COD. You know, it kind of reversed itself. I went from being the one getting stomped to actually doing some stomping here and there. Uh, like I said, I, I just don't think skill-based matchmaking is ever going anywhere. It's here to stay. So that's really not something I think we're ever going to have to ever really have a chance to get changed. So one thing that I think needs to change in Black Ops Cold War, while yes, they could adjust the skill-based ma uh, skill matchmaking by turning it down a little bit or something like that is really the map count because I think that's what's going to keep players playing the game is the maps. Um, and right now, the small map count we have, even though we just got Nuketown, um, there's still a lot of maps in the game that are awful to me and one I'm playing on right now is Cartel. Now, if we got rid of the weeds and the plants and everything in the middle, Cartel would be a 100 times better. There's already enough cover in Cartel up the middle of the map why we need plants for people to hide in, I, I'm not sure. Th this looks like a sledgehammer map to me if I've ever seen one. I, I just kind of feel like the sledgehammer probably was designing some of these maps before they got, you know, kind of the whole dilemma with them and Treyarch took over. I, I feel like Treyarch kind of had, was it put in a bind and I understand that. And they had to, you know, probably use some of the maps maybe that, that uh, was already being created. Same with Miami. Uh, it's another map that a lot of people don't like. And if you look at the small map pool and you take out Cartel in Miami, we don't really have a lot left. Uh, so I feel like there needs to be a larger map pool added into the game. And hopefully we'll get more maps uh, sooner rather than later with the new uh, you know, Battle Pass coming out here uh, next week. But if they follow suit, kind of like Modern Warfare did, I'm not sure if we're going to get tons of 6v6 maps. I'm not sure how they're going to handle this. They're having to make maps for zombies. They're having to make maps for 6v6. They're having to make maps for combined arms. They're also having to make maps for Fireteam Dirty Bomb. Uh, they actually have more game modes to make maps for than even uh, Infinity War did for uh, Modern Warfare. And that was one issue with Modern Warfare that I had because the map count was small. Uh, that you had to have maps, you know, made for, you know, large team gameplay, 6v6, you know. Uh, the, then they eventually made the Warzone map. But now you got to throw Fireteam Dirty Bomb in with that. You also got to throw in uh things like zombies you know with this as well and i know they have a different team that works on zombies but just as a whole they have a lot of maps they have to put out each season if they want to make something new or a new map for each one of these modes so will we get a lot of map content probably not i'll say it's probably going to be five or six months in a couple seasons in before we start seeing this map pool grow to like you know 10 to 12 maps probably uh, and that is kind of sad but at that point you know 10 to 12 maps is not that bad in my opinion I wish we had 10 to 12 maps right now, but sadly it looks like that's not going to be the case. And I've already talked about this in the past in several videos. I feel like now that we have a battle pass, we're going to get maps for free. They don't feel like they have to put as many maps in the game from the start. And the reason being, I feel like they used to have to uh, put more games in at the start because of, uh, you know, it was a season pass. And they were afraid that people may not buy the season pass. So if 
that was going to be the case. You know, you were a person that was not going to buy the season pass. And let's just take an example of any game that came out, you know, years ago, even World War II, even though it had smaller map count, you still were concerned if you were a game developer that people may not buy the season pass. And if they didn't have enough, you know, maps to play with the base game, they would probably quit playing early on. Now they know everyone's going to get the maps. Everyone's going to get the maps at the same time. Everyone's going to get the maps for free. So you really can't gripe about map count if you're getting them free, I guess. It's kind of the way they look at it. Um, they also know people can go out and buy the battle pass. Uh, people are going to go out and spend money in the store. So map count, I think, has really kind of fallen off over the years in a lot of developers' minds because they're making money off other things. You know, now instead of just making, you know, new maps, making DLC maps or DLC packs, that kind of thing. And it kind of sucks because we really don't get that full Call of Duty experience, you know, with 10, 11, 12 maps until several months into the game or several seasons into the game. I guess you would call it now, you know, because Call of Duty does seasons or whatever the case may be. But overall, it just kind of hurts, uh, in my opinion, hurts the player count eventually. It's not going to hurt it right off the bat, but I do feel that a lot of people that aren't just hardcore Call of Duty fans like to log in and play every day. A lot of people will be like, well, yeah, I'll go play a couple times a week compared to where they used to play all the time. And that's because they get bored of playing Cartel in Miami over and over and over. Um, and Cartel is a game mode or a map that I play a lot in different game modes. I don't really play as Team Deathmatch as much on here as I used to. I usually kind of back out on teams. It really gets on my nerves uh, if I see it come up. But Dom and Hardpoint, I seem to get on Cartel all the time. And of course, you know, there's always a capture point in the middle of the map around all those weeds, and it does get very annoying. And I couldn't tell you how many times I've seen people back out of lobbies when Cartel comes up or Miami comes up. You'll have a full lobby, you know, it'll about to be start, starting the game. Then all of a sudden the lobby will just vanish. That's because people just do not enjoy uh, these maps as much as they have other maps in the past. Uh, besides those two, I really enjoy the rest of the maps. I don't really have a problem with anything else. Some of them could be probably tweaked a little here or there for some different, you know, Things. I mean, there's some of them have a lot of cover. Some of them are really cluttered up the middle. Um, Garrison is one I can think of, you know, right off the top of my head. But overall, I think the rest of the map pool is pretty decent, but there's not a lot of map pool there. And then, of course, we did just get Nuketown. It's one of the newer maps added to the game, even though it's not really a new map. It's been around forever. And I have had my field of playing Nuketown over the years. I mean, it, it's still fun at times, but it's not a map that I just want to play game in and game out. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think the map pool needs to increase by you know a, a larger margin quickly like you know three four maps pretty soon let me uh you know like i said leave me a comment with your thought and of course if you like the video hit the like and i'll catch you all next time peace